Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are on the web at drumcenternh.com. And today we are revisiting one of our, well, no, the most, no, the best selling snare drum we've ever had. This is the snare drum that built this store. This is the Ludwig LM402. This is the Superphonic. This was made famous by John Bonham, but also Alex Van Halen, Ian Pace, Nico McBrain. So many people have used this snare drum kind of one of those drums you have to have at some point in your journey. And oddly enough, I just got my first one recently. Recently, which can't believe it, but that's another story. Our original LM42 video still gets quite a bit of views, which is kind of embarrassing because, well, this is a six and a half by 14 Superphonic. There's just some serious mojo just sitting over it. And uh, this is a kick-ass drum. Anyway, what we wanted to do was really show the versatility of this drum. I think a lot of us know that it's a great rock and roll drum. That's pretty obvious. But we wanted to showcase some of the different tunings, some different head combinations, to really see what one of these can do. Because you would be surprised. You can use one of these for jazz, rock, metal, whatever you, whatever you want. Whatever you throw at this drum, it can hang. Before we get into the thick of this, I need to remind you to please click the subscribe button. I know a lot of people think that they are subscribed to our channel, but they are not. Please click that subscribe button. And if you hit that bell, you get notified when we post new videos like this. And that helps us, which helps you. So please do that.
as of right now, in July of 2022, we do have a lot of the B-stock drums available. What is a B-stock drum? Well, typically what that is, is there's a cosmetic flaw on the drum. The structural integrity of the drum is totally fine, but maybe there's a little scratch on the inside or the outside, very minor. And for whatever reason, they couldn't make that an A-stock. So the solution is to just call it B-stock, sell it at a lower price. So this is the perfect opportunity for somebody that wants that Ludwig Superphonic sound and some value at the same time. On this particular batch of B-stocks that we have, the only visible difference between this and a regular A-stock is the badge. This particular drum has the blue olive badge, which is how they looked in the 70s, whereas the new ones have the Keystone badge, which is current. It's also important to note that the B-stock ones don't have a serial number either. Now, I'm the kind of person that takes a drum and I play it. So it doesn't matter to me if it's a B-stock or an A-stock, it just needs to sound good. So if you're a collector and you wanna have the serialization, then you should get the A-stock drum. If you're a player and you're gonna get your grubby paws all over it, then I'd say, hey, save the money and grab a B-stock if you can. The burning question that we all have is, what did you like? What was your favorite tuning? What was your favorite setup with heads and wires? If you want to buy this drum, the link is right in the description below. If you want to outfit your drum with those heads and wires, the links to buy those are actually all right in the description below. Also, did you click that subscribe button? Please do that. Make sure that you are subscribing to our channel and hey, click the bell so you get notified when we post new videos like this. And as always, thank you for the support.